Amidst a record low number of arrests for rising rates of violent crimes, record low law enforcement, and a shortage of police officers, Pittsburgh has decided to take the creative and novel approach of telling cops n not to respond to calls. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel with a story about a law enforcement tactic that has gone swimmingly in places like Detroit, which is known for low crime rates and happy living. I still remember the announcement that Detroit police would no longer respond to non-emergency calls. And I remember when other departments and even paramedics did the same thing during the great cough of 2020. In all of those cases, it was decidedly not great. And now here we are in 2024 with Pittsburgh deciding to stop answering calls for harassment, theft, burglary, and criminal mischief because they're not, quote, in progress emergencies, even though any of those situations could easily turn violent. And to top it off, only 22 officers will be on shift overnight and there will be zero at desks between the hours of 3 and 7 a.m. All calls between that time will go to an answering service and occasionally to voicemail so the cops can be free to do, quote, more important things. I feel safer already. The goal, it says the police chief, is to cut the number of calls to the police from 200,000 a year to 50,000. Not by city policies to reduce crime, but literally by making it pointless to call the police. It's like when the government lowers unemployment by only counting the people that got laid off this week instead of last week, or just about any other tactic the government uses to fudge their numbers, and believe me, there are a lot. It's definitely a choice. Now, I do hope the good folks of Pittsburgh have signed up for the Attorneys on Retainer program because I feel like things are about to get ugly. And just because the cops are no longer doing their jobs, that doesn't mean that the DA won't try to nail you to the wall. After all, the cops have no duty to protect, and the government doesn't want you protecting yourself either. The Attorneys for Freedom law firm have stepped up with their Attorneys on Retainer program to make sure that you're covered for legal defense if a self-defense incident happens. It is literally a program to retain legal counsel rather than an insurance program that has all kinds of exclusions in the fine print and no one seems to ever read the fine print. Attorneys on Retainer has you covered for misdemeanors, felonies, appeals, and even bail bonds. It doesn't even matter if you were in a gun-free zone or if you carry in a state that doesn't exactly award their citizens carry licenses, no matter how otherwise law-abiding you are. Unlike insurance companies, their only requirements are that the incident happened after purchase and coverage and that you reasonably acted in good faith. And I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more folks in Pittsburgh feeling like they have no other choice but to act in good faith. So to switch over from your existing self-defense coverage, head on over to my link in the description and use code LIBERTYDOLL to get $50 off your signup. So the part about picking and choosing which calls they respond to and someone somewhere, not you, deciding whether or not you are an emergency is concerning enough. But now we have this block of time where there are only 22 officers between six police stations in the city, and none of them will be in the office between 3 and 7 a.m. Now, the police chief says that they only receive 8% of their calls between this window, and so the data doesn't support having officers on duty to answer or report to calls. But he also already told us that the cops get 200,000 calls a year in the city. 8% of that is still 14,000 calls. If we divide that by 365, that still works out to 38 calls a day. 38 calls when there is going to be no one around to answer them. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> voicemail. Your emergency will go to voicemail or an answering service, which are notoriously reliable. That's right, I forgot. Um, in some cases, whoever's answering the phone is going to be telling them, oh, no, 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 we can't take this call. You have to do it online through our online system. So I can just picture it now, right? The cops walk in at 7 a.m. and they're handed a printout or they open up their email. Here you go, here is the list of 40 calls that happened while no one was here and now you need to decide if any of these are an emergency. <laughs> That's going to go so well. 
Now granted, you can't force people to be cops, and you can't force them to work ungodly hours, and the people of Pittsburgh were largely on board with the BLM to fund the police movement, and these are now the fruits of their labor. I see you in the comments, I know there's gonna be people saying it. In a way, they're getting what they voted for. Though I'm sure not everyone was on board with those policies, and now everyone has to suffer, but democracy. And sure, some situations are more of an emergency than others. But if your taxes are paying for a service, the government has to figure out how to provide that service. I mean, that's pretty much their only job after stealing your money. All of this is just more proof that you are your first and best line of defense. People forget that the police's job is law enforcement after the crime has been committed. Their job, as per the Supreme Court, is not to protect you, it's not even to stop crime, it is simply to enforce the law after the fact. Especially in Pittsburgh, where they won't even be answering the phones. I mean, we all know the line about how seconds count when the police are minutes away. Well, now they're going to be hours away. I hope the people of Pittsburgh are holding on to their butts, and maybe next time around, they'll change their mind on some of these policies. All right, folks, that is it for this video. I, this is what, the second or third city in the last year that is taking on or proposing these purge type policies? Oh man, the country is in an interesting place. Anyways, that's it for this video. You guys know the drill for all of the algorithm things. Please ring that notification bell so that you know about all of my new videos coming up because otherwise YouTube probably won't tell you. And as always, thanks for tuning in and happy shooting.